Brick Pond, with its wetlands and woods, lies within the town of Owego, not too far from streets and houses. Here, in an old bed of the Susquehanna River, there are also dwellings of a different sort. This beaver lodge is one of them. The pond beavers work to keep the water as high as possible, while we try to keep the place accessible to people. It's a struggle. Here, some of their work on display. But what is this out in the pond? It has a different look, and at less than a meter high, it's much smaller than the beaver lodge. It's clearly made of different stuff, cattails and sedges and plant stems held together with mud. While the beaver lodge has sticks and branches. Here's a comparison of their sizes. This is the work of a different animal. If you walked the loop when the water is open, you may have noticed ripples and wakes that can't be explained by the wind. Here, the moving plants and water draw our attention, and we see the creature pop up by the melting ice along the shore. It's smaller than a beaver. It's a muskrat, a semi-aquatic rodent. Its beaver-like appearance is nature converging on a body plan that works here. It's more closely related to voles and lemmings. It's active year-round, in winter under the ice, so it must find food year-round. It mostly eats plants, but will not turn down a catchable frog or fish. Aside from being much smaller than a beaver, you can't miss the difference in tails. A beaver has a flat tail. That's definitely not a beaver. Like their lemming cousins, muskrats have lots of offspring, and also have cyclical population booms and busts. But they seem to be doing fine at Brick Pond just now. <laughs>